What's new, pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's new, pussycat? Hiya. Welcome back. Been a while. Not really had a chance to make any videos recently. But, well, we're here now. Um, anyway, before I start, I've got a new thing for my hood. So now that, there you see, it's quite visible. Well, from where I'm sat. Anyway, what am I going to do today? Well, this car, well, these cars, the catalyst seems to be, seems to be seeing a lot of them well, fucking up um, on the, you know, on the, on the forum, the Facebook page and what have you. So, there's nothing wrong with this one, but I'm going to try and clean it out and see if it makes any difference. Um, there probably will be something wrong by the time I'm finished with it, but I'm going to try it anyway, because why not? So, as we can see, that's our manifold and our lambda sensor and our catalyst is smart bang underneath it. So what am I going to do? Well, first I need some tools for the size of that. That was really hot, that was really stupid. Car's just been running, I just touched it. Ow. Um, yeah, I need a spanner for that. I think the 22. So I'll go and get that. And guys will stop going past being ignorant when I'm trying to film. Uh, and then I'll enlighten us to the plan, which will probably be in the thumbnail anyway, so you probably already know. But yeah, let's go and get some tools. Right, so it's going well. I was correct. My assumption that that's a 22 millimeter, but I can't really get it on very well at the moment. Not really tried that hard yet, but first, let's unplug it so we can turn it round. Otherwise, when you try and undo this, you just twist the wire around and round and round. And it's you know, pretty sick, but try and do it with me on that. I've just burned. Mm -ah. Right, you've got to squeeze, squeeze the tabs and pull it, but sort of two hand job in it, like that. So now, try and get this in and get this lambda out. a little bit too long. What a pain in the cock. Unfortunately, the spanner is just about big enough to fit over the plug, so I can get the ring on it, and then hopefully I'll be able to get it just so I can crack it off. But this is a little bit. As I've said, a little bit awkward because the spanner's too fucking long. I might go and get a shorter spanner. Well, can't seem to find a shorter spanner, so well, there's a wheel, there's a way, and all that. And there we have it, a shortened spanner. Now, this spanner says warning, low torque only, so it's only for low torque applications. And the 1KR engine doesn't have a massive amount of torque, so I'm hoping that that's going to be okay. tight actually so that wasn't working neither and i don't want to take the bumper off so i've got a ring spanner that should be short enough uh big up my scar spurs where i got it from anyway let's try this one now properly fucking tight that yes well that is way more stubborn than i thought it'd be so it looks like we need to induct a little heat and the easiest method to do that So after sitting there uh, revving the car up for a couple of minutes with everybody looking at the light of the knob, let's see if it's made any difference. So, with a bit of persuasion, with a bit of mechanical advantage, if you notice that bar there, the bar, well, it was further over than that, it's cracked off. So, we're good to go. Now let's check it out. Basically, I just pinned that bar in there and then forced the spanner around. Right. Knuckle drag it. Right. And this is going to be red hot again because I've been sat there revving it. Now even the spanner's red hot, which is also pretty sick. Fuck! Yeah, that that spanner's really hot. Try and cool it down, but it don't fit in. Now, I would advise waiting for this to cool down, but I'm too impatient for such activities. 
and there's our lambda sensor or oxygen sensor whatever you want to call it and there is the catalyst which you can't really see inside but it actually looks well, not too dirty but we're going to try and clean it a bit just for the sake of it all right so as you can see here we've got an anal scope so i'm gonna have a look inside it and see how dirty it is and see if it makes it cleaner and that's as far pretty much as what i'm going to do if you want a scientific good video you know watch a good channel um i'm just going to see if if it makes this look cleaner like i say it's, it's not actually not working um i don't know something come up on the screen then about some bullshit so i don't know if it's stopped recording it's not actually not working i'm just trying it to see just because i like fucking about so let's try this and see what well see if it works Right, so that's what it looks like inside. Uh, generic sort of honeycomb structure, like catalysts are. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of this, this oven cleaner, it's like caustic soda or something. And I've used this before with various, well, I'll just say, various amounts of success, really. Um, sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't. So, well, I'm gonna fill that up through that hole let it soak for a bit and then rinse it off with water and then if nothing else it, it might well it might just get rid of some black stuff that exhaust which is a complete waste of time but let's go for it now this would be easier if they'd have thought about people doing stuff like this when they made this oven cleaner and put straw on it but If it wasn't broken before, it probably is now. And after a few seconds, well, quite a while of holding that on, it seems to be quite full. Um, I think I might take that off and try and push it further in, actually, because it might just be sat on top. So I might get something and blow it further down, just one second. Right, so I want to force it further into the catalyst. So I've got this very well-designed piece of pipe here, which I'm going to push against there and then just give it a bit of a blowjob down at the end of here. And then hopefully it'll push it all back into the cylinders and it'll fuck everything up, but that'll just push it down into the catalyst. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna fill up some more. Yes. Exciting stuff, riveting, riveting viewing. Ah, uh, no, I'm just going to leave it. Right, so as we can see, that has been soaking for a while. As if it wasn't stupid enough to put oven cleaner in there, probably not that stupid. I'm now going to fill it with water and rinse it through. And hopefully it won't go in all cylinders and completely bend a rod and you know, all that kind of shit. Probably will, though. Anyway, let's rinse it through and see how it looks. And it's quite hard to see, but the water level inside the manifold from the catalyst isn't going down as fast as what I'd like. So, I thought when I'm taking the piss before saying it might go in the cylinders. If there's an exhaust valve open, it's probably going to go in the cylinders. So I better be careful when trying to start it in a minute. Anyway, let's have a look at how it looks first anyway. Right, well we can't really see that much of that because there's still bubbles in it. So I'm going to insert this sensor, just finger tight for now. Right, and I'm going to plug it in and then I'm going to try starting it. Hopefully, hopefully without causing catastrophic engine failure, but we'll find out soon. Right, so that's kept it back up finger tight. So I can take it back out in a minute and I've also put a tub behind the exhaust just to see what's if we can catch what comes out. Like I say, if it starts, moment of truth now. Right, if it just clicks, then we've got issues. Oh. It's 
started. Yes. Um, I think I've got blown exhaust. Right, so it's probably done absolutely nothing of any use. But we've got some sooty water out of it and even more under the car. Anyway, let's go and have a look at what it looks like now. So, does that look any clearer? I don't really know, I've not really compared the two. Possibly. Anyway, let's put it back in and take it for a spin and see if we've got any extra power, which we won't have. Now I'm just gonna take it to blow the uh, any water that's still in exhaust out. Anyway. Brand new again. So I've taken it for a quick spin and it's as smooth and powerful as ever. Um, not sure if it's made any difference. Not sure if there's any use in doing it really, because I didn't have a, I didn't have a catalyst fault anywhere, um, and well, I was just generally fucking about. Now, I've had varying degrees of success with using oven cleaner to clean stuff in the past, as I've mentioned. I mean, one of the best ones was I filled the hot side of the turbo of that there um, before I started making videos. It was a couple of years ago, and. I mean, there was nothing wrong with that either. Once again, I was just fucking about. And when I set off, it put out a nice sort of pile of soot, which was quite satisfying. Um, when I just took this for a blast then, around the, around the block, I did put like a trail of black water behind me um, where I set off. But yeah, is it any use? Probably not. Is it worth doing? Probably not. Would I advise doing it? Definitely not, because you could fuck something up. Um, so that's that's all for today i mean it's not really a proper video it's not like a you know what would i say a useful video i'm just sort of testing shit uh anyway don't forget to like subscribe comment tell me it were a bad idea that i already know um check out me on instagram uh same name as what it is on here but with spaces in between each word and i'll see you next time